my kitchen still has residual stuff left over from our family Halloween party. There's the punch bowl. There's the crock pot ninja thing that had apple cider in it. Here's still the caramel from the toppings of the cider bar. Oh, look. Somebody had some cake in the middle of the night and didn't put the top back on. Lovely. Popcorn ball. Cake. Crumbs. We partied hard for two days. Lord help us. Well, the good news for me is the counter that I normally work on is relatively clean. So we'll worry about the rest of the kitchen later. We'll just uh, work it out over here. We'll work it out. You guys, you energize me. Hey, puppy. You always just wake me up. Anyway, what I wanted to tell you was, if you like boiled eggs, and we in this house like boiled eggs, plug your ears because this is going to make a screechy, yucky noise probably because it's styrofoam. Um, you got to get one of these things. It's like a boiled egg maker. You can buy them on Amazon, Walmart, whatever. This one is a double, double layer one, and you just... Here's the bottom of the egg. Hold on, I'm gonna have to switch the camera around. Okay, I hope you can see. You just take the egg, and it comes with this little handy container, which you pour water into the machine. You see? I don't know if you can really see that. Anyway, you just pierce the bottom of the container, or the egg. You put it in here, and then this particular one, it can do 14 eggs total but you can only do one, or you can do seven, or you can do 14, however you want. I filled this all the way up with seven eggs. And you can put this little piece on, and then there's another little shelfy thing, and then you can put the other seven. You press the top on, and then there's a little button in the front that I'll press. You just press that, and that's it. And it takes like maybe five to seven minutes to cook. I'm turning it off right now because I don't want it to start. I don't want it to start yet. But anyway, that's a good present to get somebody for Christmas who really loves eggs. Bold eggs. One more thing I forgot to say. You add this with water up to the point of like how many eggs you have. So like if you want it hard boiled five to seven, it says right on here, there's a line up here and you fill that up with water and then you pour it inside the thing. If you like a medium egg um, and you've got three to four, there's another line for that. Anyway, do that, pour it in, and then close it up. It's the steam that cooks the egg, so don't forget to put the water or else. You will have a hot mess on your hands. I'm imagining, I don't even know what would happen. Maybe some exploded eggs. I'm not sure. So. That's the first thing on the easy lunch we're doing. Okay. Got the containers. Alright, and the next thing I'm going to do is I was going to give them some cut up fruit left over from Halloween that we had at our party. But um, I think I'm going to have to give that to them after school because there's softball games today. So I'm going to cut up some apples. I put some lemon juice in here and water. I'm going to put water in here and then put these in there. Hold on. Okay, I just put some lemon juice in here and then I'm going to fill it <clears throat> with water and the lemon juice is going to not flavor the apples but just be enough so that the apples don't turn brown. is over there staring at me. You know what? I'm doing this this way, but probably I'm trying to go for quick bits. I should just slice it like this. Instead of my normal way that I do it, which is not quick. It's kind of a stupid way to cut apples. Anyway, you see, I'm just going to toss them in there. Good. 
I'm just realizing that I wanted to make work and I won. And I'm already almost done, but I don't think it'll be too hard and I'll do that later because I gotta get these kids off to school. Okay, I'm finishing up. Got some cheese and some turkey. I'm gonna put the egg in there. Pretzels and crackers. I ran out of pretzels, so I had to add crackers to it. <laughs> experimenting just a little bit. I saw this on Pinterest. It's like a two ingredient apple dip. It's just cream cheese and caramel syrup. And I think it's like, what, what do you say? Two to three, two. So I'm gonna just smush it. Let's see. Like, I know, hard to do with one hand. Maybe the cream cheese should have been at room temperature. I don't know, but I ain't got time for all of that. So I just took out my immersion blender and I'm blending it. Well, and as one might guess, it tastes like delicious caramel cheesecake. And there is nothing wrong with that on a Monday. The day for some, not exciting for others. For election day. And by the way, over here, the kids don't go to school on election day. This year. I don't remember if we've ever had it off before, but anyway, that's exciting. I don't think this is going to go as far as I thought. Yummy, yummy. And now, because I realize that you are a horrible parent if you do not add candy to your child's um, lunch the day after Halloween or the next possible day that they can go to school it is imperative. They must have candy. Not a lot. Well, I just blended my finger with the immersion blender if anybody cares. How does one even do that? That is so ridiculous. I think I was trying to get the stuff out of the bottom and I stuck my finger in there whilst depressing the blend button. Don't do that. Because the stuff is so good and I wasn't even gonna give it to me in Warwick, but then I thought, I should give some to me in Warwick. To myself in Warwick. Don't worry, there's no band-aid to be found. I'm still pressing on, making this very <laughs> simple lunch I told you. The queen of simple. All right, lunch is done. I'm gonna try not to get my bloody fingers on it so you can see. Crap. There's that. Goes on top. This seals it off from my blood, and there's the <laughs> laborious, <laughs> bloody cream cheese and caramel dip for the pretzels, for the apples. Mm. And while my life is turning into a mini horror show, does anybody want to tell me why did I just buy these last week and we're already missing a top? Please? Uh, let me know. Anyone? Anyone? I had to interrupt my Okay, I was saying I had to interrupt my lunches to take Soledad to school. And now I'm pulling into the garage with one hand. Probably not a good idea. I just saw somebody peek their head out of the laundry room looking for me. Anyway, uh, let's go finish the lunch so we can all get on with our day. Okay, 
I made one. This one is for Warwick. Coco, hush. Okay, this one is for Warwick. M&M's, peanut M&M's and Reese's. That's his favorite. And me, because I'm perpetually on a diet. Me and my mom, mom. Look, I get the scraps of the caramel cheese dip. And no, no candy. I'm not allowed any candy because I just ate a brownie and a half of a chocolate chip cookie right now. And I'm supposed to be starting keto again. There it is for later. And there it is, our after Halloween snacky lunch with horrors involved. I hope you have a great day and uh, see you in the next video.